Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed about conditional statements and then simple if. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know the syntax for if in Python, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss about if else in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me draw the flowchart for the if else. Then I will discuss the syntax for the if else. Then I will discuss the one program and then we will go for the practical things. Now, the flowchart for the if else will be, we will have a test expression. Okay, we'll have a test expression. The test expression can be either true or false false okay the test expression can be either true or false if it is true okay the if block will be executed or the statements which are there in the if block will be executed okay if block statements will be executed okay if the condition is false let's consider that the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the else block will be executed okay else block statements will be executed now either the if block statements will be executed or the else block statements will be executed after this one okay after this one If you have certain other statements, okay, the statements which are there, let's take that after if, after if else, what are the statements will be there? Those statements will be executed. So, we have a test expression. The test expression can be either true or it can be false. If it is true, the statements which are there in the if block will be executed. If the condition is false, the statements which are there in the else block will be executed. After executing the if block or else block these statements will be executed if the condition is true these statements and these statements will be executed if the condition is false this statement and these statements will be executed is it clear so now let me draw the syntax or not draw let me write the syntax for the if else we'll have if and then we will have a test expression or the condition so we will have if and we'll have the test expression and then we will have to keep the column okay now once you keep the column and you press the enter indentation will start so now let's take that you want to execute statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 if the if block is true so these are the three statements will be there in the if block is it clear so in python indentation will separate the block of statements which are there in the if and else okay now after this one you want to verify the else so you will use a keyword called else is it clear so once you press enter you'll have the cursor will come here and you have to press the backspace so then else will you have to use the keyword called else okay is it clear then you want to execute the statement such as statement 4 statement 5 statement 6 these are the three statements you want to execute if the condition is failed okay now you have a statement 7 which does not belongs to else block it is outside the if else now look at here now the test expression can be either true or false if it is true then statement 1 2 3 and statement 7 will be executed if the test expression is false statement 4 5 6 and statement 7 will be executed is it clear so always the end of the if else the statement 7 will be executed is it clear so this is what the way you have to use the if else in the python now let me discuss a simple program for better understanding 
okay i want to take a input from the user which is an integer and i want to verify whether it is an even number or odd number is it clear so this is the simple program usually people will discuss in the if else now whenever you want to read an input from the user we will use a function called input okay let me take a variable called n then i will do the type casting and then i will use the function called input okay i will write enter number is it clear then once the user has entered the number it will be converted into a string because by default if the user enter something it will be considered as a string but you want to read it as an input so that's why in so that's why you're doing the type casting so this int is for type casting because input function will return the values in the form of string okay so we are do using the int for doing the type casting now look at here you know that whenever the reminder is zero means if you have a given number let's take that six six if, if you perform modulus two okay modulus division two then you will get the reminder as zero if the reminder is zero then you will say that the six is an even number suppose let's take that you have taken seven seven modulus two if you do you will get a reminder one so i can say that it is an odd number so if you are dividing the given number by two modulus division two if you get a reminder as zero or reminder as one am i right if it is reminder is zero then you will say that it is an even number if it is one we will say that it is an odd number now with this logic let me write the program so i will write if okay i will write if n modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0 if it is so then i want to print even number so indentation will start okay print even number okay else again it will start from here you used to use the keyword else and then column then you press the enter indentation will start then you will write print odd number that's all it is very simple program is it clear i hope you have understood if user has entered the value 10 10 modulus 2 what value it will give zero so zero is equal to zero so the condition is true so it will print the output as even number suppose let's take that user has entered n value is equal to 13 13 modulus 2 you will get the reminder as 1 1 is equal to equal to 0 false as the condition is false the statement which is there in the else block will be executed which is odd number now let me discuss these things practically in the jupyter notebook for you now let me write the program to demonstrate the if else in jupyter notebook i will take the variable n and i want to read the input from the user so i am using input function the input function whatever you want to display to the user you can write inside this one okay now user will get a output as enter a number once he enter a number or he is entering a real constant whatever it is the input function will return the value in the form of string but i want to convert into an integer so i will do the type casting like this okay now whatever the number the user has entered it will be stored in the variable n now i want to check whether the given number is even number or odd number so how can i do it i will divide the number using the modulus division with the value 2 if it is an even number the remainder will be equal to 0 so i am comparing whether it is equal to 0 or not if it is equal to 0 the remainder then it is an even number so what are the statements i want to execute if the if condition is true i need to write here i want to write it as even number okay then i want to display one more statement like share and subscribe okay 
then these are the statements I want to execute if the if condition is true. If I want to execute certain statements, if the if condition is false, then I need to write the else block. So if you look at the indentation is here, you need to press the backspace, then you need to write the else and you need to write the column and press the enter. Again, the indentation is started. What are the statements you want to write within the else block you need to write here? Print odd number print subscribe Pernica tutorials for more videos. Okay. These are the two statements I want to execute if the condition is false. If I want to execute a statement other than these statements after the if else, then I can write here print, okay, by, okay. Now let me run this code. If I run this code, you can look at here, enter a number inside the text box, whatever the number you are entering. Suppose let's take that I'm entering 5. 5 is an even number or odd number, 5 is an odd number. Now look at here what will happen. 5 modulus 2. The remainder will be 1. 1 is equal to equal to 0. Condition is false. So the control will go to the else block. What are the statements which are there in the else block? 1 is odd number will be printed as an output. Then subscribe Pernica tutorials for more videos will be printed as an output. And then buy will be printed. Because this is the statement you need to execute after the if or else. If the condition is true, what are the statements which are there in the if block you will be executed and then this by will be printed. If the condition is false, the statements which are there in the else block will be printed, then by will be printed. Look at here. We got odd number, subscribe Pernica tutorials for more videos and then by. Now, let me run the code again and let me give an a even number which is 100. Now look at here. The output will be even number, like, share and subscribe, buy. I hope you have understood how the if else will be executed. If you still have any doubts related to the if else, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.